Hello everyone, and welcome to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge, where we are here mixing and mashing together different kinds of animal genes to create completely unexpected hybrids. So today we are back with our lions because I have been watching so many adorable lion cubs play around and be able to frolic with their family on Safari Live, which I know I talk to you guys about all the time, but come on, you can see a live safari with people who are really well educated about the animals and you can roam through the beautiful Masai Mara or through the Juma Game Reserve and you can watch as people get to discover these animals just roaming about in the wilderness on their own and it's just the most exciting feeling especially when they can find some giraffes so while i was watching the little lion cubs play together it just warmed my heart so much i knew that we needed to return to our lions so we are back today with a brand new lion who has actually been wandering about as he seeks out uh, oh and actually you know what i think we can make the tail because I've been watching lions so much. Oh, well, we can't actually change the tail from super fluffy to uh, to kind of a thinner tail, but because I have actually been watching so much Safari Live, I know that lion tails are not going to be fluffy. They're actually going to be a lot thinner. They're very, very thin with a tiny little ball of fluff on the end. So just keep that in mind. But otherwise, this is a very handsome lion indeed. And I think that he will begin to build his very own pride uh, in a very special new way today. So I'm super excited to see what his babies are going to look like. Tail, tail being completely accurate or not. Ahem. But with that said, may I introduce the crossbreed that we will be breeding our lion with today? A chihuahua! A tiny little itty bitty chihuahua who is just so freaking cute and named Songbird, which is the name that randomized up from our random name generator. And remember guys, if you too would like to end up becoming one of our animals in these challenges, all you need to do is leave a comment down below. Also keep those ideas coming. I have this huge list of ideas for what we are actually going to do in our challenges and it just keeps getting longer and longer. So I'm really looking forward to being able to make tons and tons of them with you guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, so keep them coming. And if you want to be a name, all you need to do is leave a comment. And how perfect is it that the name Songbird popped up for a little chihuahua? Especially because Songbird is a vocal tiny little one who loves to sing. She puts her whole itty bitty little heart into everything that she can sing. It's absolutely freaking adorable and it has actually won over the heart of our lion Petra. So Petra has heard the call of Songbird and been quite impressed because you know lions have such a deep and powerful roar themselves. And so uh, when he stumbled upon Songbird, instead of making a quick meal out of a tiny chihuahua, they fell in love. And through the magic of our random pet laboratory challenge, we're gonna see what a lion and a chihuahua would look like today, guys. Pretty excited about this one. <laughs> but all right, let's go ahead and get started. Petra, if you would. So we're gonna be mixing Petra and Songbird's jeans and seeing what their litter will look like. <gasps> Tiny one, you look like a chihuahua coloring. Okay, so this is their first child who may or may not grow up to be a big lion. We're gonna have to go ahead and see but we're gonna name this little one Bunny. So this is after Bunny Love 5. Thank you so much for leaving such a sweet comment. And I think combining a cheetah and an Appaloosa would actually be a really fun mix in the future. I may start reading off some of the suggestions that you guys put in too. So that way you guys can give me some feedback by like leaving comments and like, you know, thumbsing up and emojiing the comments you really like. That will let me know what our future challenges should be centered around, just FYI. So if you like the idea of a cheetah and an Appaloosa, do let me know. And then we're gonna see what Bunny's personality is. Bunny, you can't give milk, you're not a cow. However, you can be adventurous, smart, and a troublemaker. Oh, which by the way, Petra, as with most of our lions, is a couch potato who is aggressive and a hunter. And little Indy Bitty Songbird is actually a vocal one who, like I said, got her name because she really loves to sing, who is hairy and she is also adventurous, which I thought was kind of majorly cute. 
All right, and so their first child is kind of a good mix of the two, but the troublemaker, gosh, that just is so funny. And how funny is it to have one named Bunny who is a cross between a lion and a chihuahua? But all right, let's get the next one born. Oh, look at that. Oh, one-eyed, amber-eyed lion. That would be so cool. Oh, all right. Oh, another one. And this one looks like Songbird, too. Are you going to grow up to be big like your dad? Are you going to stay small like your mom? Who knows? But this is actually Caesar. So welcome, little Caesar. Named after LPS Little Caesar. Oh, who actually says they would love the name Lily. Changing that. All right. There we go. Welcome, little Lily. It helps if I read the full comment first. And Lily is also a troublemaker, just like her sister. So I think Songbird's going to have her paws full, who is stubborn and adventurous. So, so far we're two for two on Chihuahua design, but will that stay the same? I do want to see more lions. All right, so let's see. Oh, we're getting a lot of one-eyed like animals from our lion. That's interesting. <gasps> what? Okay, this is interesting. So we ended up with the golden eyes of a lion. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be mom's perky little chihuahua ears, but I don't know. I don't know, like I think the, the coat color might be kind of like a watered down lion coat color, at least based off of The Sims 4 that is. But this is little Luz. So thank you Luz for your sweet comment. I think doing more cats would be really fun. Let's see. And so you are Harry, who's a sleuth and stubborn. So we have a lot of stubborn troublemakers in the family so far, which is very adorable. All right, let's add in the next one. And we've got another one who's like a chihuahua, but also a lot like a lion. May I introduce you guys to Piper? So Piper, you say that a cheetah and a wolf called a chihuahua would be really interesting, and a cheetah and a lion as a chi uh, cheatly, which I love those names, chihuahua and cheatly, so cute. Those are great ideas for the future too. So what do you guys think? Cheetah and a wolf, cheetah and lion, and then you, my friend, are a hunter like your dad. So good, you're gonna feed the family. Not that I think you need a lot to feed a family of chihuahuas, but still who is a glutton and you are very friendly. That's so sweet. So far, nobody who looks like a lion too. All right. And then, oh, come on, lion baby. <gasps> no lion baby, but we did end up with a baby who I think is gonna have the lion face. We'll have to see. And this is actually going to be Knight the Angel. So we're gonna go ahead and go with Knight from Knight the Angel Wolf 7. And you have a lot of great ideas, so I'm only gonna read off a couple. But what do you guys think about a cheetah and a rabbit? Or a cheetah and a snow leopard? Or perhaps a, uh, let's see, cheetah and a lion. Yeah, a lot of you guys want cheetah and lion. Or a black lab chow mix with wild dog. That's very specific. I like how you guys are starting to get like into hybrid mixes of dog breeds against all of these wild animals. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. All right, so thank you so much for your comment, Knight. You cannot produce dairy, you're not a cow. You also aren't a sheep, so no wool. But you can be a jumpy, friendly sleuth. Ooh, man, and it's so fun to see all of the suggestions you guys have of different mixes. Like this one here from the very last born of the litter. Will we finally have a lion? Come on, lion chihuahua. Dang it. I really wanted a lion chihuahua and we really ended up with everything other than a lion chihuahua. The chihuahua jeans were just too strong on the coat coloring. That's okay. This is from Mitch. So Mick, Mitch, you say a wolf and a pumba would be a good combination. Wow. Those are a lot of options for you guys to kind of like pick from and list off. And of course, that doesn't mean those are the ones that we'll do for sure in the future. But I just would love to hear what you guys would really like to see and what you would call the, those kinds of hybrid mixes. So our final of this little litter with little Mitch, who is a sleuth, who is playful and friendly. Are you guys ready for this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> with... With Petra perhaps glancing over his litter with some perplexity, none of them quite look like him, and all of them look like their mother songbird, perhaps he's going to be very, very happy about that. It's time to see if we're going to have these puppies grow up into big lions 
or if they're going to stay small chihuahuas, and what will happen if you mush those features together. So, Bunny Lion, if you would like to lead first. <gasps> what? That's so cute! You guys! We got a really fluffy small dog who actually looks a little bit like a wild sheep mix, maybe? Wow! Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Between the jaw and facial shape that Songbird has, and then the bulk of the body that Petra has, I was expecting this to get really, really out there. But Bunny, you turned out so cute. You actually kind of live totally up to your name of Bunny Lion. What do you guys think? I really, I love her. She's really cute. I may actually save her for some of our like legacy events. Jeez. All right, well, small dog. Small dog count, one. Lily, with her beautiful, beautiful coat patterning, let's go ahead and see what you grew up into. <gasps> oh my gosh. What? How is a lion and a chihuahua two for two the most wholesome mix we have had yet? I mean, look at her. Lily, wow. You guys, I love this! So for both of these dogs, I totally want to save and like send it to my sims because they are just so precious. What on earth? I had no idea this is how it would go. Wow, okay, well let's keep going and see what happens. Next we have little Luz. <laughs> Who looks really small. He, he's teensy. He looks a lot more like what I would expect out of this mix, but Luz, you're still precious. Just look at that wagging tail. It actually looks longer than his mom's tail. And, you know, he's he's a little ball of sunshine, isn't he? Even his eyes kind of reflect that. So, Luz, you're adorable, too. All right. And Piper, let's go ahead and see what you grow up into. Oh! Huh! You know, this is more what I expected, but I think the result is actually a very fluffy chihuahua with a fluffy tail, which is very cute. I think if she didn't have a, a fluffy body from her father, she actually would end up looking just like a normal chihuahua. So that's really adorable too. Welcome Piper, welcome, welcome to the family. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. All right, and Night Lion, Night here, has a really, really unique looking facial structure. So I'm expecting dramatic results. <gasps> okay, we got the dramatic results. <laughs> but somehow with his fluffy body and his big ears and that wagging tail, he still has a very wholesome results too. I am so freaking tickled by this. But all right, so this would be Night Lion. Welcome, welcome to the family, my friend. I, I really love his look too. Did you guys know that this mix would end up resulting in so many wonderful little pups? But let's go ahead and wrap up with a little Mitch here, who is the last of this current litter. And I'm very interested. Do you guys think small dog, big dog? So far we have one, two, three, one, two. So is it gonna be more small dogs or are we gonna have an even mix of both? And we have Small Dog! And he's actually really cute! Look at him! He, I think, what, how is he different from his mom? He's got a slightly different facial feature. He has his dad's tiny little eyes and he has his dad's ears. So he actually looks just like her as mom as a chihuahua, but those subtle changes and like it changed where his eyebrows go on his face, those tiny subtle changes made it so that he looks completely completely not like a chihuahua at the same time. But there you have it, my friends. That's what happens when you mix a lion and a chihuahua together. The end results end up being extremely wholesome in a lot of ways. I mean, okay, who's, we're not supposed to have favorite favorites per se, but we can have favorites. And I think Lily is actually my favorite here because there's something like amazingly gentle looking about her that really makes me want to see more of our lion crossbreeds in the future. So, oh, I love them. I love them all. And I really kind of love Knight's face. Like he makes me feel like he'd be one of those guard dogs where you'd be like, oh, I'm so nervous. And then you see the tail and you're like, oh, he's a good boy. He just wants to snuggle. But all right, so let me know who your favorite is down below. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.